Welcome. I've had a few people ask me how to build simple aircraft in Kerbal Space Program since I started posting videos. And I'm going to build a very simple jet aircraft right now. And yeah, all right. Obviously, you need a cockpit. I'm going to use a structural fuselage. I'm going to use a fuel fuselage. And I'm going to use this for an intake. Now when you're building a jet, obviously you don't need oxidizer. That's why I went with the liquid fuel fuel tank here. If you, if you use the standard rocket fuel fuel tanks, you can take the oxidizer out because it would just be dead weight anyway because the jet engine doesn't use it like so but I'm not using that so I'm getting rid of it let's put a jet engine on here and I'm gonna go with a delta wing I'm going to use, let's see, use these for forward canards. not necessary but I like to s for del especially for delta wing aircraft I like to set the wing lower down on the fuselage so down like so We are going to need a tail, so I'm going to use the small delta wing. Put that right there. this for a rudder. Oh, come on. There we go. Alright. Well, the last thing we need is our landing gears. Um, not sure if I mentioned already. You always want to have your center of lift behind your center of mass because if your center of lift is ahead of your center of mass, your plane will be unstable. I 
I've also noticed when you're placing landing gears it helps to have the aft landing gears be close to the center of the mass like so or not center of mass, center of lift it makes it easier to get off the runway in my opinion and experience <laughs> I'm going to disable steering on the back landing gears so that I don't end up doing donuts on the runway. And I'm going, let's see, did I set up my controls over here? Okay. I'm going to set these two for pitch only. I'm going to set this one for roll only. I'm going to set this one for yaw only. Oops, no, don't deploy. There we go. And I'm going to leave those as they are and see how it flies like that. I am going to give it some air brakes. Now you can e either use the the standard air brakes or you can also use ailerons as air brakes if you set them up in the action groups to the brakes. But I'm just going to use the simple already built in air brakes for this one. Okay. Now I believe we're ready to fly. Okay, let's give it a try. <coughs> oh, one thing I forgot to do, if you want to be able to use the afterburner on here without having to click on the engines, you can always set that to action group one and then you, all you'd have to do is go over here and click action group one but since I forgot to do that I'll have to click on the engine to actually go to afterburner but test my controls see yeah yeah alright set the brakes turn on the uh, turn on the uh, stability assist sorry I'm getting tired <laughs> All right, activate the engine, go full throttle, release the brakes. And we're airborne. Reflecting the landing gear. Pretty responsive roll control. Pretty good pitch control. Decent yaw control too. Air brakes. I did not mean to set the brakes. Anyways, I was talking about in order to use the afterburner without setting an action group, I have to do this. which for a single engine is okay, but if you're using multiple engines, that could be very tedious and problematic. So 
a pretty responsive little airplane. This is definitely an acrobat. spun out of control. <laughs> But there you have it, a very simple jet aircraft, easy to build, Re would require some uh, a, qu uh, a few unlocks in career mode. But there you go.